Hello my friends, this is a content creator from Awere Imo State. Yeah, welcome to my channel. In this channel, I talk about the enormous opportunities and information from the aviation industry. If you are my returning subscriber, thank you for always being there for me. If you are seeing me for the first time, you are welcome to my channel once more. Thank you. A few days ago, one of the foremost airlines in the world, the Emirates Airline, announced that it will stop its operations from Nigeria on the 1st of September. This is a worrisome news to the aviation industry because of its implications to the industry in particular and to Nigeria as a nation. Among the reasons they gave for the announcement was their inability to repatriate their revenue from the country. The company said that they have over $80 million trapped in the country at the moment due to the dollar of forest illiquidity in Nigeria today. It means that they are doing their business, they are making the money, but they could not assess it. It's extremely discouraging. We are hoping that the CBN or the federal government will do something before the deadline. Because if they suspend the operations in Nigeria, the implications are numerous, very negative, numerous implications. First, it portrays a negative image of Nigeria in the global business. Many jobs will be lost and others will be either directly or indirectly affected. For instance, the company that supplies Jet Air One to this airline, the business that is aviation fuel, the business is affected. The company that do their catering service, the business is affected. All the ground staff of this company in Nigeria today automatically from the first of September 2022, they have no job again. And these are people that have families that depend on this company for every bill they pay. Some car hires depend on the passengers that this airline brings to Nigeria for their business to flourish. Some food vendors in the airport have the passengers that this airline brings to Nigeria for their business to flourish. And the thing is just a chain effect. It affects everybody in the aviation industry, either directly or indirectly. And we could record that some weeks back, uh, aero contractors and airline in Nigeria suspended its operations. It was followed by Dana. Dana suspended its operation. The staff of this airline today, your guess will be as good as mine. What are they doing? And another airline is about to suspend its operation in the same country. I know how good things are in this country at the moment. I mean, the aviation industry, we need some help. We need urgent action or attention to avert these negative trends in the industry. Again, this is a clarion call or a reminder to all the passengers of Emirates Airline in Nigeria. If you have your ticket beyond the first day of September this year, I advise you, go to their counter. Either apply for a refund or they will tell you what to do. Maybe they transfer you to another airline that will take you to your, to your destination. It's important you do this now because after the first of September, if they go ahead with them, what they have announced, you may not meet them at the counter. So if you have a friend, a relation, a brother or sister that you know that uses this Emirates airline, let him or her go to the counter and get the information on what to do if he has a, a ticket beyond the first of September. It's unfortunate, but that is where we are at the moment. Thank you for your time. Thank you for boarding the flight with me once more. I appreciate. Stay tuned by subscribing to this channel for further information. This is the best arena. I say thank you.